get out the way Who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Janae and on today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be talking to you guys about how I got fired from my nine to five and manifest a whole smoke shop in the process. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment. And if this is interesting, share it with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Hit that bell notification so that way you're aware of the next video I'll pop up because I think I'm going to be doing more of these. I really like to talk and I really like to help people you know, get the things they want in life. So we're going to see how this goes and flows. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Hey, I am pulling up a chair today, y'all. I am pulling up a chair today and I got some water. It's just water. But I've been wanting to record this video for a while now. My mind is just like, don't do this video. It's going to be boring. But you know what? It's a new year. It's a new me. And it's time for me to do what I want to do. And guess what? This is what your girl want to do. She want to sit down here, chat with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Answer some questions. Just kind of help y'all see how you're able to get the life that you want through manifestation, through believing in God, and through just believing in yourself altogether. So I have been, I was a wedding planner for about 15 plus years. And the last place that I worked at where I got fired from was Lakeside Wedding. Shout out to Lakeside. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Thanks for firing me. But I worked at Lakeside for five years. Now, in the midst of me working at Lakeside, the owners of this business, y'all, the owner of the business had the life that your girl wanted. Okay, when I say the life that your girl wanted, they traveled, they came and went when they wanted to, they made the money so i started with them um i want to say in 2010 yeah in 2010 i started with them and when i started with them i was this quiet shy actually i really wasn't quiet i was quiet at work outside of work i was this you know who the fuck what the fuck was popping but at work i was quiet and shy and being a wedding coordinator you really can't be that person you know what i'm saying you got to be outgoing you got to be upbeat you got to be all that so when I got this job, I was um, I was new to this field. Like I had been in a wedding business, but just weddings only. When I got to Lakeside, I was doing weddings and events. So I did pretty much everything. And when I was there, I was like my own boss. So being there actually taught me a lot. I came and went when I wanted to. I never I had a manager, but she really she really didn't manage us like that. It was more like you're your own boss, figure it out, make it work. And that's it. That's all. So when I got to Lakeside, that was all new to me. And I didn't know this is what God was doing, preparing me for what I have now. You know, when I got to Lakeside, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was, I was a worker bee. So when I would go to work, I felt like I needed a manager to tell me what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Um, she was a different kind of manager, y'all. She wasn't that manager that like, um, babysat y'all. She was the manager that was like, here you go. Go do your shit. If you get into any deep, deep trouble and I'm here, I got you. But if not, figure that shit out on your own. You're a big girl. You got to make it work. So over the years, I was learning how to become my own boss. I didn't know it and I didn't know God was preparing me for that. But that's what he was doing. He was showing me how to be my own boss, how to run my own business. Now, back to the owners of the place. Now that you got that little insight. So I would see the owners, they will come to work y'all during the winter time. So I live in Vegas. And so from, I would say September all the way into like May, they will be at the wedding venue, you know, doing whatever the, the owner's wife, she would be decorating and shit. And so right when it got hot, like it starts getting hot in Vegas, I want to say about the end of April, the beginning of May. And they will leave out of town. They will leave from May all the way into like September. Who's taking vacations like that? And how do I do that? So I would see them every year do this every year. In the back of my head, I used to tell myself in my mind, I used to be like, girl, what are you doing here? Why don't you have that life? Because that's the life I wanted. I wanted to be able to leave out of town for days and weeks and months, you know what I'm saying? And they come back and just get paid and you know what I'm saying, do whatever. But they inspired me to want to go do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? They inspired me to want to go do me. So every day I would see them in my mind, I'm just thinking to myself, this is the life I want. This is the life I want. This is the life. 
I was training to become a boss. You know what I'm saying? Through the last, through, within that five year time frame, I was training to become a boss. I was training to own my own. Again, I didn't know that that's what I was doing. I was just going to work every day, learning, growing. And I was telling myself and telling my husband, I was in a process. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to quit this job. Um, I want to be a life coach. And that's where I wanted to go with this. I wanted to be a life coach. Um, I didn't really want to open a business. I just wanted to be a life coach. I wanted to help people get the life they wanted. But in the t at that time, I didn't have the life that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I was working towards getting the life I wanted, but I didn't have it. So for like a whole year, I was telling myself and I was telling my husband, I'm going to quit Lakeside. And when I quit Lakeside, I hope you're ready because you're going to have to be paying these bills. You're going to have to be do this. You know what I'm saying? Just let him know, hey, it's the time is coming. The time is coming. The time is coming. And he would be like, okay, okay. Like he was like, yeah, whatever, whatever. And so I really didn't have no skills on how to be a life coach. I really didn't know what to do as far as being a life coach. All I knew is that I wanted to help people. Um, my husband goes, why don't, we open a, why don't we open a smoke shop? Now he wanted to open a smoke shop. I did not. I wanted to start my life coach business, right? In my mind, I'm thinking, who, how do we open a smoke shop? I don't fucking know how to open a smoke shop. But also, that's when I start meditating on opening the smoke shop. So in the process, so before we even got anything, like the whole month of August, I would I would um, go to work and I would like op unlock the doors as if I was opening my own business. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't unlock the door as if it was their wedding business. I would unlock the door as if it was my own business you know what I'm saying, smoke shop. I would sit outside on my, on Sundays, I worked on Sundays and it was always, um, I was always by myself on Sunday. So I would sit outside and I would just imagine me having a building, having a smoke shop. And this is when, at, at that time, I didn't know what manifestation was because it wasn't as big as it, as it is now. I just knew how I felt, what I wanted. And I just started imagining it. I think a month went past, it was like, August and then September. It was like the end of September. My husband was like, we need to really start thinking about opening a smoke shop. And I was just like, yeah, you know, just, yeah, 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 we need to. But I didn't know how it worked. And so my brother calls me one day and he's all, Nene, there's a, a building right next to Thrive Dispensary. It used to be a smoke shop. They closed down maybe you should call the maybe you should call and see if you can get it and so i'm just like yeah 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 okay okay i will so he gives me the number um i called the people okay so when i called the lady i was like hey i was calling because i was interested in the building i was wondering if it's available and she's like yeah it is available um i'm gonna send you the application right now and i'm like you're gonna send me that like i'm thinking to myself there's like rules regulation i i didn't know you know how it worked she's like yeah i'm gonna send you an application right now i'm like okay She's like, just fill it out and send it back to me. So I'm like, just like that? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fill it out and send it back to me. This is how God be working, y'all. Listen. Listen. I was not, I was, I did not know it was going to happen. Though. I didn't know it was going to happen as fast. I didn't know it was going to happen the way it happened. I do all that. I send it back to her. And like, I want to say like a few days or a week later. So my heartbeat, I'm like all nervous. Because I'm just like, how does this work? Do you need good credit? What do you need to open a business? She calls me. She's like, okay, um, the building's yours. Um, you guys can come pick up the keys. I'm like, we can come pick up the keys? What do you mean we can come pick up the keys? She's like, yeah, you can come pick up the keys. When do you guys plan on um, opening it up your um, smoke shop? Now, I felt like at the time of me telling her this, I was just playing. And then it became real. You feel me? Like when I told her I wanted to open the smoke shop, that we wanted to open the smoke shop, I was just playing. But then when she said, okay, here's the keys, it became real. And I was like, oh shit, we got the building. And so I called my husband. I'm like, we got the motherfucking building. The lady said we can open up. This was like at the end of September, the beginning of October. I was like, so we're just going to open up in March of 2017. And she's like, oh, okay, that's perfect. And so March of 2017, she's, um, they're like, that's when you pay. You don't pay anything until you are actually in the building and you are opening the door. So she tells us to come down there and sign the paperwork and get the keys. So I go down there, we sign the paperwork, we got the keys. I'm excited. I'm like, oh shit, we got the motherfucking keys. Oh my God, we're gonna open up a smoke shop. Now reality hit, smoke shop is coming and we go to work. 
um uh, we find we get the business license he talks to one of his homeboys we find out where to get the business license we go get the tobacco license and then we get paint we paint everything okay now in the midst of us doing this i am still working at lakeside this is the part where this is when i get fired okay it's right around november or december now during this time every year at lakeside somebody always gets fired i don't give a fuck what it happens somebody gets fired every year around like the end of the year one day i go to work and it's like super quiet in there and i'm just like why is it so quiet in here where is everybody at and um the manager like the the, the head boss was in there and so then she calls me to the office she's like janae um can you please come to the office? And when she calls me to the office, I immediately knew right then and there. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna get fired. Oh, this is the year I get fired. She calls me in the office and she's like, okay, yeah, we're gonna let you go. And I was just like, fuck, I got fired. So, you know, she, she tells me, pack your stuff, you know, today's your last day, da 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 da. You can pick up your check, da 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 da. So we go through the whole motion. So I'm thinking I'm about to break down and cry. You know what I'm saying? Have a tantrum. I don't do none of that. I was like, okay, thanks. And I walk back. I call my husband. I'm like, hey, y'all, I just got fired. He's like, you got fired? I'm like, yeah, I just got fired, bros. He was like, are you serious? I was like, I'm dead ass. I just got fired. So I'm packing my shit up right now and I'm fucking out of here. So I pack my shit up. And uh, mind you, I'm over here trying to cry, okay? So in the process of me packing my stuff up, I'm just like... <laughs> And, and no tears are coming out, but I want to cry. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I want to cry. But God is just like, what are you crying about? You finna open up the smoke shop. You finna have your own business. Everything you've been asking for is coming into fruition right now. So why do you want to cry about something that you didn't want? And I'm like, because, because I thought I wanted that. You know what I'm saying? I thought I wanted it because I thought that's what I wanted. Because I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't know nothing about opening a smoke shop. I didn't know how to run a smoke shop. I didn't know nothing. And neither did my husband. Neither one of us knew shit about none of this. All I knew was that I manifested a smoke shop and now I have to fucking play it through. So December comes, shit's getting real. I'm like, okay, we're supposed to be opening in March, y'all. Not y'all, but we're supposed to be more open in March, husband. So we start moving a little bit faster. We're going to LA every weekend. We're going to LA buying stuff. Um... We're painting, we're doing all that. March 2017 comes and the shop is fully, not fully loaded, but it's set. We didn't know what the fuck to do. We didn't know how to do a grand opening. We Again, we didn't have any idea to do any of this. We just did it. The first week of March, and it was a Saturday, I remember. And I go and I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna open these doors, do, do, do. open the doors, guess what? Doors open and we open March 2017. And when we opened, I was like so excited. I was so nervous and I just didn't know how to feel because I'm like, are we gonna have any customers? Is anybody gonna come in? We get our first customer of the day. And I was like, what the fuck? We got a customer. We are, we are, we are a fucking business. We are running a goddamn business. What? So that is pretty much how I went from getting fired and opening a smoke shop. How I manifested, I, I again, I didn't know at the time of me manifesting that that's what I was doing. I didn't know I was manifesting a smoke shop. I just knew what I wanted to do, how, I didn't know how I wanted to do it, but I imagined. So I had the feeling. So these are some of the tools that you guys need to have if you are trying to manifest. First thing first. You need to know, to know you want to do something more than what you're doing. You need to have a feeling. You need to feel it. You need to have that feeling of this is what I wanted to do. Like I will, I will go sit outside and just feel me opening the smoke shop. I will feel me having customers come in and talk to me. I just had, you know what I'm saying? I was able to feel all that. And these are the things that I put into action to actually manifest the smoke shop. So that is my story on how I got fired from my wedding job and opened up a smoke shop. I hope this was good. I hope it was educational. If you want to know how the business is going, 
Um, leave me a comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I will do a part two. I'm going to do a part two anyway and tell you how the business is going anyways, even if you don't want to know. But, and as always, have a good day, have a good night. I'll see you on my next Chit Chat Talk Time. I just real cheap, but it's really cold house. I'm trying to get these ends.